here's a quick tutorial on how to manage many tasks and projects. I've got a new way to uh, do this. I'm sure you haven't seen it before. Um, this is a uh, simple and effective system, easy and natural to use. Please watch this presentation full screen and keep your speakers on. And by the way, this is a free download from MikeTurco.com forward slash task. Okay, task lists are easy to keep. Um, a to-do list, many people just write out the things that they have to do, and that works great if you only have a few things going on. Uh, but if you've got a lot on your hands, I'm going to show you a great and easy way to get organized. And again, this is a free download from MikeTurco.com slash task. Okay, here we have the uh, to-do task in Project Manager. For, it's for Microsoft Access. It works with the free version of Microsoft Access. I call the program Quick Manager. I'm going to go from left to right here across the top. Everything is kept in a grid. Um, if you click here on the, uh, the, the left, or if you click left and select uh, several items, you can uh, uh, easily this way uh, select one or more items and then if you press the delete key on your keyboard it will delete records for you uh, so when you're done with your task you delete them the P field is priority if a task is uh, priority something that is uh, uh, important to do or um, something that, that's urgent be sure to mark it with priority uh, the print you check print if you want the task uh, list that this row to print out on the printed report Okay, um, and if print is not checked, it, it doesn't print on the report. You may not want to print everything that you have in your database on a piece of paper to carry around. You, you just want the things that you're going to be working on that day or over the next few days or something like that. Um, all of these boxes, as you go across the top, are drop-down boxes. They are easily editable. All of them, all of these text boxes, you uh, can drop down the list and there's a pencil icon and if you click it, it calls up a uh, box where you can type in new items and they automatically come up on your list, the list that you just edited. Okay, um, from left to right here we have uh, uh, projects. You type in your projects. Four is your customer or who you're doing something for. Uh, personally, if I'm doing something that is uh, for myself or for my business, I leave this column blank. Um, and then here you can type in or drop down up to uh, three tasks that are associated with this project, with any particular project. Okay, uh, there's a, uh, a comment area that you can type in. Okay, and then you have a date. Uh, this date, I recommend to you that you only put in dates for things that are hard dates. If you have a specific due date, um, a project deadline, something like uh, uh, that, then you, you want to put in a date. I, I know a lot of people put in dates for themselves as to when they think they will have something done. I, I guess that's up to your personal style, but I feel if there are uh, uh, dates in a, a task list that it, it's uh, two things. It's a little bit you know more more pressing and it's also hard to see where you have some flexibility in the things that you're working on um, and there we go there is also a, uh, a, a text box down at the bottom where you can type in your project notes this doesn't come up on the uh, printed report you can put in uh, more tasks uh, project description whatever it is you'd like to have here Okay, now we uh, um, look here on the bottom of the screen, uh, on the right hand side, uh, there's refresh screen and if you go in and you um, click uh, priority for a task or, or you put in a date or change a date, what the refresh screen does is it reloads these records up at the top and when you click refresh screen, everything sorts the way that it should. The way the screen sorts is it puts your priority items up at the top and then it sorts by dates with the blanks up at the top and then the, uh, um, the, the oldest date first. So we have the blank, then the 12th, and the 15th. Okay, um, we have a uh, print button here. You click print. It opens the report in preview mode. Okay, and right now we only have these four items selected. Um, there is also 
a uh, a P. You'll notice on the left of the screen here, uh, the, the P stands for priority, and if there was a D to the left of any item on the list, that would mean that the date has uh, come and gone, the due date or the um, review date or whatever you want to call it. Um, it, that either the date is today or that that date has come and due, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Once again, go grab this software. It's free from MikeTurko.com.task. Thanks.